Page 403, what is the world? <laughs> you know, what is the workbook? This is in the workbook. The world is false perception. It is born of error, and it has not left its source. Okay, now what that means, obviously it's born of error. We just were talking about so it came about from the ridiculous idea that, that you could separate from your creator. But, but that idea, and it has not left its source. What that is trying to, is conveying there is that ideas leave not their source, that it seems as if the world has been projected out of our mind. In other words, it seems like there is really an objective world out there where, where there's plane crashes and floods and hurricanes and people dying and sick and there's continents and there's India over there and China and this and that and, and there's cultures and there's history. And it seems like that's all kind of like real concrete, you know, that that's it's been there long before mankind even came, you know. Like Carl Sagan would say, billions and billions of years, you know, this, this planet has been around before there was human life, or even evolution, or whatever, that these rocks and these geological formations have been in place. Jesus is saying that the world is, is a projection from your mind, and it has not left its source. In other words, the world is still in your mind. The world is nothing more than a bunch of ideas that is in your mind. But to the ego, the ego says, get out of it, you know, no way. The world is, has left its source. And not only that, the ego says, you've left your source. The Course says, you know, we were created as an idea in the mind of God. And the ego says, you left. You were created as an idea in the mind of God, but you usurped God. You turned your back on God. You're out of the kingdom now. You know, you've left your source. And so, as I've gone on in life, you know, and as I've started to have my shift in, in self-concept and started to step out of these false beliefs, it's been more of an experiential sense that the world is in my mind. You know, there's a, there's a big perceptual problem going on, and that the world is in your mind, and that all of these things that seem to happen are on the screen, are perceptual, are just witnesses that you look first within your mind, and if you have all these dark, crazy beliefs that your father didn't create, then you feel weak and frail and teeny and guilty, then you'll call forth witnesses in the world that will represent, I'm weak, I'm tiny, I'm frail, I'm little. We, we've forgotten what the kingdom is. We've forgotten what love is. And so to, to let go of all these things that we have made and not knowing have gotten what we had is very fearful to be a, you know, to let go. What do you have left? If you were to just, you know, just not knowing what's on the other side. The ego says if you let go of all this familiar stuff in the world and even these beliefs that uphold the underpinnings of the world that the ego says you'll go into the void, you know, that they talk about in Buddhism. The void? I don't want to go into the void, but see, that's the ego's version of going back right. to the light. And really, the Holy Spirit's saying, you will, in a sense, you will be everything. You will be exactly as you were created. You'll be abstract light. With no need, no care, no worries. <laughs> Nothing but eternal peace, so deep that you don't even have a glimmer of, of how people but you see how there's two different versions oh, of yeah, it's going the within. Opposite. Yeah. <coughs> and that's you where know. Jesus stepped over to. Yeah. It's our way shower. The ego's belief is that all your security rests on meeting your survival needs, you know. And then it goes on beyond that to say, Well why not have joy in, in life and comfort? More comfort for the body, more pleasure for the body, more da 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 da. And in a sense that's still tacking on and worshiping death because it's the it's letting go of the mind's identification with the world and the body where the freedom and the joy come in. And you can see how this is a big turnaround that, that in a sense we've been pursuing we've been seeking for happiness and salvation out on the screen in the specifics. And that's where our sense that keeps covering over our sense of loss. Because really our deep sense of loss comes from the belief that we've separated from from our Father in Heaven, but we kind of like placate or try to uh, satisfy ourselves, having already assumed, okay, I've, I have done the impossible, you know, which is 
the ego believe. I have to separate it from God. Now I'm going to try to, to pacify myself. And who among us has not, you know, we all have had many different forms probably, but who among us has, has not attempted to do that? And who among us has not felt this isn't it? You know, this, this doesn't work. Seem to work. Yeah. <laughs> For a while. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it's just really that we're we're not we're, we're just totally outside of ourselves and and not really going within to to find the joy or the happiness or the love or the peace. That's where it is. It's not anything that's outside of us. And we're using everything outside of us to bring the joy. Because, yeah, we're <laughs> we're totally discovering.